The U.S. housing market in 2023 is a battlefield. It's buyers versus sellers, the Fed versus inflation, mortgage rates versus budgets. So let's cut the crap and go straight to the front line. This is the latest graph from Redfin showing the mortgage payment on a median priced U.S. home. And as you can see, we finally backed off the all time high of $2,563 to land this week at $2,556. Last year, when rates spiked from 3.5% to north of 7%, we tested the $2,500 plus payment twice. First in June 2022, then in October 2022, when the median payment topped out at $2,505. So we found a resistance zone in monthly mortgage payments, $2,500 to $2,550. On one side of this battle are sellers and interest rates, both trying to keep home prices as high as possible. And on the other side are buyers and their budgets, trying desperately to afford anything given their very real limitations. But if we look closely, we also see a support level for mortgage payments. Last year, when mortgage rates temporarily fell twice, monthly payments fell with them, but only to a point, only to a support level around $2,200 to $2,250. In other words, lower rates brought price relief, but buyers would allow only so much relief before bidding set a price floor. Buyer competition prevented the median mortgage payment from falling below $2,200. Now here's what's unsettling. This band that we've established that shows where monthly payments now live is $500 above last year's band and $700 above 2021's band. How do we get here? And where the hell are we headed now? It goes without saying that the principal inputs here are pricing and mortgage rates. These two variables dictate the monthly payment. So let's start there, but not waste too much time on the obvious. After spiking briefly on the news that Tom Hanks contracted COVID in Australia, the average US mortgage rate fell and stayed very low until the end of 2021, when Fed rate hikes became inevitable. In this low rate environment, home prices climbed, and climbed and then really climbed as high home buyer demand gorged itself on practically free money. By June 2022, however, rates were above 6% and pricing took a real hit, generally falling since. It's been several celebratory months for the crash bros amongst us. According to Redfin's latest data, the median home price is down 12% from its peak. But returning to our monthly payment chart, we see that monthly payments are still higher than ever. While home prices slid down 12%, the median monthly payment pinballed between $2,200 and $2,500, and shockingly, it's back over the $2,500 mark. Clearly, we have to go deeper than just pricing and rates. And speaking of going deeper, just below this video, you'll find the subscribe and like buttons. I'm trying to grow my channel to help spread meaningful housing market insights, so a few quick clicks would be hugely appreciated. So what are payments? which looked like a big W over the last nine months, actually tied to? What forward-looking indicators can we track to get a sense of where payments are headed? The answer lies in my favorite Redfin chart, the Buyer Demand Index, which they bury at the bottom of each weekly report. Redfin tracks internal metrics like page views and showing requests to track buyer demand over time. As we can see, demand is very sensitive to rate increases. When rates shot up to 6%, demand fell off a cliff, Rates cooled to the fives and demand got a lift, albeit a small one. Then rates climbed to north of 7% and demand died again, reaching a new low. Since then, rates have mellowed to the low sixes and demand has grown back ever so gently. As you can see, we have another W shape, but the drops are a lot steeper than the climbs. So demand looks like a W, but the overall trend is down. Monthly payments look like a W, but the drops and climbs balance out. So the overall trend is higher. What gives? Well, going back to Econ 101, what balances against demand is supply. And the best visualization of the supply story is right here in Redfin's latest graph showing new listings. Now, if we look at the first six months of 2020, 2021, and 2022, they look very similar, except of course that the start of the pandemic really fucked up 2020. But if we look at the second half of the year, we see that 2022 falls off significantly from 2021 and 2020. When rates shot up, sellers stopped listing homes. Why? Well, the overwhelming majority of home sales are between owner occupants and buyer occupants. And in 85% of those sales, the seller goes on to buy a new home. 
when rates balloon, not only does it make it harder for first time buyers to buy, but it makes it way less attractive for sellers to sell only to then buy back into a less hospitable market. And keep in mind that these new listings numbers build on top of each other over time. When the housing market is seeing 10 to 20,000 fewer new listings per month for half a year, the cumulative effect is huge. Since July 2022, the total number of homes on the market has shrunk by 25%. So that's how we end up with a market in which rates are relatively flat, demand is relatively flat, pricing is actually trending down, and monthly payments have never been higher. Like I said, gang, the US housing market in 2023 is a fucking battlefield. Let me put it this way. The current banking crisis is putting a lot of downward pressure on treasury yields and mortgage rates, both of which have been dropping since SVB collapsed. Let's just propose that mortgage rates drop all the way to 5.9%. Using Redfin's methodology, and if home prices remain constant, the monthly payment on a median home would drop by $182. But with inventory at an all-time low and the volume of sales already at the long-term low point, seeing mortgage rates starting with a five is going to pull a lot of sideline buyers back in. So what we're more likely to see this year at a 5.9% interest rate is increased buyer competition to the point at which we hit that monthly payment resistance point of $2,500. Translation, a drop in rates to 5.9% means a $20,000 lift in the median home price and a net wash to home buyers. And you may think this is wishful thinking from a greedy realtor, but look at the data. Look at this very clear band. The question is, outside of an all out economic collapse, what's going to knock us out of this band and get us back down to this band? Or maybe the question is, are we ever getting back to this band again? Common knowledge would suggest that of course we are, of course we're in a bubble, of course home prices will return to earth like they did in 2008. But this isn't 2008. Like I said, the US housing market in 2023 is a fucking battlefield. And as much as we wanna draw connections between 2023 and 2008, it's also important to understand how these two moments in time are quite different. Grab a stiff drink, take a seat, and check out this video for some hard truths. And subscribe here for more no-nonsense, no BS insights into the US housing market.